In this video, I'll show you how to enable an internet connection on your Android phone and use the internet without Wi-Fi and without mobile data. So you have your Android phone connected to an ethernet cable directly. The ethernet cable I'm talking about is this one here. There is no plug for ethernet on Android phones, but actually there is. So you have the USB port, which can act as an ethernet port, as a video out port, with the right device so you can have a usb hub that has usb out connection usb in oh, i almost broke it i almost broke it you can have a usb hub that can have hdmi out and usb ports in power delivery everything through usb c but that one doesn't have ethernet but this one has so i have this, this is the base us that's the base US USB hub. I had it for a while and I could plug it in. So now the USB hub is connected. If I want to charge the phone through the hub, I could use a hub that has a power delivery port. So this is the charging port. And now the phone is charging. So you see here it says, it says the charging indicator. It's not gonna charge fast because it's a slow charging port. But this one, for example, this one has a 100 watts charging power delivery. So this is the Ugreen Revodoc, but it doesn't have ethernet. So I'll try now. I'll try to show you now how the ethernet works on your Android phone. I really just plug in the ethernet and you will see. So you see here, these are the icons now I have. That's the, for the Wi-Fi and that's for the 5G. So I have Wi-Fi. I turn off the Wi-Fi. I'm connected to 5G now. And I could enable the Wi-Fi. Okay. Plug in the Ethernet cable. And the phone should have a connection. You see these kind of left and right arrows. That's the sign for uh, Ethernet. So now the phone is actually connected through Ethernet. And you see the Internet option. Ethernet to switch networks. And I have Wi-Fi. I can disable the Wi-Fi. But I'm still connected to the internet. I can disable the mobile data. But I'm still connected to the internet. And I'll show you. So I can go to this website. This is my website here. And you see I'm loading the, webs the website and everything works. The page works. It's not offline. Everything is online. And I'm connected through internet. Mobile data is off and Wi-Fi is off. So if you have a problem with your phone or you want to use your phone in a more permanent way, like a server, like a home server, you can use a USB hub with power delivery to power the phone, charge it and connect it to the Wi-Fi. You can use a USB hub, ideally a newer one like the Ugreen I have here, but any USB hub you might have that has internet through ethernet, it's a better option but actually you can still use the Wi-Fi. What I wanted to show you was that you can use internet on your phone without Wi-Fi just through the USB port by using the ethernet connection. On some Android phones, you would be able to change IP settings and DHCP settings, but for my phone, Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 Android 15, I don't seem to be able to change it, but you can change it from the router, give it a specific static IP through DHCP, but this could be sitting here and working 24 7 non-stop it could be working because it's connected to power and actually that one is not needed only one usb hub connected to power i could even have uh, external hard drive connected through the usb and it would be powered from this from the charger or it will have a separate power i could actually have multiple hard drives connected to this phone and act as a home server so that's pretty nice. I believe it's really working well. I could upload YouTube videos from this phone if I wanted to. 
maybe I will. So if you want to disable the Ethernet, you have to unplug the the network network cable. And when I unplug it, the internet doesn't work anymore. So I can turn the internet back on, turn on the 5G, Wi-Fi, and now it's back to normal. I hope this helps you in case you have issues with your Wi-Fi or mobile data. If you want to try to use Ethernet with your Android phone, you can actually. Just on some phones, you might be able to change the settings, the IP settings on some phones. You might not be able to change the settings. Thanks for watching. And when it's finished, just unplug it, unless you have storage devices. If you have a USB hard drive or SSD, do a eject first and then disconnect. Thanks for watching.